Weiner behind LemonThistle.com and today I'm excited to share a home tour with you guys that is an everyday home tour. And I'm also going to be sharing the places in our home that I don't share. The places that we have a long project list of things to do before we get there. But I wanted to kind of show you the good, the stuff that we finish, the stuff that we love, and also the things that we, you know, close the doors on. And then uh, I'll also show you, I'll point out kind of the things that we're still working on in different spaces and how we are getting there in our long, long list of projects to tackle this year and in the years following. So I am doing this video in partnership with my friend Lindy from Love, Create, Celebrate. We have been doing the My Seasonal Home Tour Challenge every season. And we wanted to do a home tour that was not seasonally decorated. And we also wanted to do a home tour that showed you all the parts of our house, not just the ones that are, you know, Instagram worthy or whatever, because I think it's important to recognize that most everybody's space is a work in progress and constantly evolving. So before we get started, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would so love if you did that below so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. Okay, come see my house. All right, so the first space that I'm going to show you is our kitchen. This room is done, essentially. We renovated this room top to bottom, not last summer, but the summer before now. Like, took down walls, everything is new to the studs. It's done. Okay, the next room that I want to show you is our dining room. And our dining room was technically renovated when we renovated the kitchen because it is all one big space. However, we never really finished it. I actually think I wanna do this dining room for a weekend renovation next month. So keep your eyes out for that. I'm looking for a rug, refinishing the table, painting the walls, getting some big art on this wall. I have something in mind, but it's a DIY, so I've gotta see if I can make it happen. And then uh, we haven't finished patching and siliconing the windows, and then I need to paint the trim here too, and put up window coverings, which is what this box is. <laughs> That's been sitting in our dining room for like six months at least, and we haven't even taken it out of the box to make sure that they're the right size, but we're gonna get it done. <laughs> okay, our entryway is another room that we made over, we did a before and after, and I feel like once I do a before and after, I consider it done. So this room, I have this room, like this space here. We have nothing left to do. We took out headers and made the openings wider, changed railings, changed doors, changed floors, like we did all the things. So this space, I consider done. And it's winter, so we currently have our bucket full of like mitts and stuff here, but I did want to show you my dead plants. My plants are always dead until I replace them. Okay, this is our living room and this is kind of a funny space because we've shared a lot of it because I'm starting to love it, it's coming together. I feel like it reflects our style, but we've never done it before and after because there are some more things that we've wanted to change. I feel like this is one of those spaces that is changing day to day and month to month and we're adding new things and taking things away and kind of deciding where we want to go with it but in this room is also our next project so let me show you this is our next project here i'm going to get started on it this week actually i think later today i'm going to pull this off and maybe start chipping off the tile we'll see i love the idea of this brick fireplace um but it's like an off white color. It was painted this way when we moved in and I kept telling myself that I'm just going to paint it white like the rest of the walls so that it doesn't bother me. You can't, you probably can tell that it does have like a bit of a yellow cast, especially compared to the rest of this room. So I want to get this painted a nice clean white and then I really want a chunky wood mantle and I want to tile this here. So I want to replace that for something that's more style instead of this tan. And while we're at it, I've been told that I can like clean the glass and get this looking great. So this is the next project. Hopefully this will happen this month. And who knows, maybe we will do a living room before and after soon too. Okay, I'm not gonna go outside because it's freaking cold, but last year we put this deck on the house. We finished it in the fall right in time to not use it. So this year we're going to be hopefully furnishing this deck and getting it ready to use. And then down on the lower decks, we built a wooden deck here and we need to build the stairs down to the yard. And then this is a brick patio and we did this 
screen on our concrete retaining wall, but we never finished this part here because we really, on our project list this year, want to build a playhouse up here and build a ladder up this side for the kids to get to. We think that would be super fun. And then again, all sorts of like regular homeowner honeydew stuff, like stain the fence and paint this fence that's falling apart, you know, that sort of thing. All right, here is the part of the tour that I wouldn't normally show. So, it's my boy's bedroom. It looks different than the last time you saw it because my daughter was camped out in here for like a year, not wanting to sleep in her bedroom that she wanted alone because she's a twin and she's always slept in the same room as her twin brother. So I get it, but it was real frustrating. So we moved just this year after Christmas the toddler into the bedroom with my daughter and you'll see that there which leaves a lot of space here and we do expect him to come back here when she decides she does want her own space but we'll see when that is for now this is how the room is working all right so as I mentioned in the boys room we moved my toddler into Aubrey's bedroom we made this bedroom over it was the first room makeover that we did in this house when we moved here but it was very short-lived we have this box of blinds that has been sitting here since we made over this room they didn't show up in time for the reveal so we got a alternative that is not sized properly for this window and then since nobody was sleeping in here we're like oh why bother fixing the blinds when nobody uses this room so since we moved uh, Calder in here about two weeks ago we do want to switch out the blinds so that's back on our list but as much as this is a little bit more cramped than when she had the room to herself, it is still totally usable. The two beds fit no problem and she can still have her desk. The only thing that she has lost in here is the second nightstand and macrame because of course, first night in here, he pulled that down off the ceiling, so. All right, the last room in the upstairs is our master bedroom and I have shared this feature wall on Instagram and on YouTube and on the blog, but I haven't shared the rest of the bedroom because we never finished it. So we replaced all the windows the first summer that we moved in and then we painted everything, we put up trim. However, these two windows, we ordered the wrong size by accident. It's the first time we've done that and we were so frustrated with ourselves. So we had to send them back and get new ones. So they arrived after all the trim was done. Which you'd think would be a really quick process to just do the trim in this one last bedroom, but we haven't done it. Other than that, we just have to decorate. So trim, window coverings, and a quick coat of paint. And then I have a big mirror I wanna get up in here. I wanna hang some things on the wall. We just haven't gotten around to it. Which, I mean, this should be just such a quick one to finish, but we have not. Okay, so I did want to show you my closet, which is kind of weird, <laughs> but I shared the makeover for this closet and some tips on designing a small walk-in closet on my YouTube channel last year when we had this closet put in, and I had a few comments saying, yeah, but I wonder what it looks like with all your stuff. So there is still a ton of room um, on shelves everywhere in fact we keep all of the gifts that we buy for our kids in here we have like keepsake boxes up high for photos and things like that all of our summer clothes and winter clothes we don't store under the bed or anything we can store that all in here as well so there's definitely plenty of room and then we're also even storing renovation supplies we have a light we need to put in and a bathroom fan we're gonna put in and we have our flooring transition strip for between the bathrooms and the rest of the floor like totally happy with this closet still a year later and still feel like there is a ton of room and it is so much easier to keep tidy and clean and organized when you can see it all <laughs> hey guys I'm recording the bathrooms like this because especially this one is so tiny there is no room to put a tripod in here even if I wanted to it's like the one thing in the house that was never updated I think since the 80s so we've got like the almond sink, we have the tile. There is shelves like cut into the walls to add extra storage. Speaking of cut into the walls, this vanity is cut into the wall. I don't really know, the doors don't close properly. We've got like rusty brass vents and this beautiful green floor. 
And then it looks like they redid the shower, maybe. I mean, we certainly would like to do it again. Again, cut into the wall is the toilet because this room is so small, you guys. And then up here, when we moved in, there was shelves on the wall. And then one night, in the middle of the night, while we were sleeping, they fell off the wall and shattered glass everywhere. So this room has a ton that needs to be done to it. This is gonna be a complete makeover. Ideally, I would love to do that now. <laughs> But that's not in the books this year, so I'm thinking about doing a temporary update. I was going to leave everything until we could do the entire room, but now I'm thinking it would be nice to add some shelves back over the toilet for a little bit more storage and maybe do a paint job on the tile to get rid of the green. We'll see. Okay, the other bathroom. We'll do it like this too because, again, it's a pretty small space. So this room, it looks like they partially updated, uh, definitely put new tile around the entire room, which collects a lot of grime, I'm not a big fan, and put a new mirror and new lights in. Um, but there is a ton of updates that need to be done in this room as well. We will probably completely get this room and renovate it. But in the meantime, we might make some updates like a new tap so that we don't have this broken glass one and maybe paint the vanity and I'm considering even putting in a new sink and countertop let me see if I can get this to show you there is paint and stuff all over this it's really in rough shape and then I'm also considering painting the walls I mean the floor is a vinyl tile it's okay there's nothing wrong with it the toilet is newer it's totally fine too the bathtub however could totally <laughs> use some love. All right, downstairs. Now this space, we haven't done much to. Um, I painted that mural. Now it's kind of become a music corner, but we have lots of other changes we want to make to this space. This is kind of put, and put on the back burner until we finish the main renovation upstairs and the exterior. But for now, this is just for the kids to play. Uh, the other thing that we'd love to change is the carpet. This one like has paint spilled on it and is pulled up in a few spots. I think that the old owners had a cat, which is fine. It totally works, but one day we'd love to change it. And we are working on painting. You can see I got to like this corner here and then stopped, but we're gonna be painting this soft gray color throughout the whole basement to hopefully finally once and for all rid this house of this green color. That was every single wall when we moved in. It's nothing special, but this is under the garage. We built into a storage room. So through that door there is our utility room and some storage that we're gonna be putting tools and paint stuff in. Over here, again, we wanna make a couple more changes. We would really love to do built-ins around our TV like we did in our last house. I will link that post. Um, it made such a big difference for storage and also making that space feel intentional. And then of course, like switching lights. I'd love to get rid of the boob lights, so that's the plan. This is a weird space. It's always been a weird space, but it has gotten even weirder as we added my office door here. Instead of having to walk past the furnace like you did before uh, to get into those rooms, we've moved the door over here. So we have a separate furnace room with storage. So now this is not only a fireplace, but it's also like a hallway to get outside and to get to my office. So we had been using this area as a gym, but you can see it's like half taken apart. We're moving it into the spare bedroom and making that into a gym instead of a spare bedroom. So this is coming out of here. Eventually we would love to finish the fireplace and I'm kind of dreaming up like hanging chairs maybe so it still feels open to walk through, but you know, this is the one door that we still have to replace. That is the very last door or window to replace in this house. All right, so I made over this office not too long ago, so not much has changed, but I wanted to show you it now that I've moved in and I'm working in here and it has all of this stuff, not just the stuff that I put on the shelves to look nice. So this is the table where I do most of my crafts and projects and things like that. I also moved in my lighting kit, so that's here in front of that open shelving, which crowds it a little, but it's necessary. So I'll show you the other room too. All right, so this is the office part of the room. 
uh, when I shared this, I mean the desk was a lot clearer. <laughs> uh, this is the half of the desk that when I'm working with my kids at home, they park themselves here. So I've got all their notebooks and coloring stuff over here. And if I have friends over to work with me, they also sit there. And then I am doing all my accounting. So I have like papers lined everywhere. And this entire basket is full of accounting stuff. And then I also have an extra chair in here because we found that I can fit two children and two friends at this desk. So this one hasn't changed much either because again, it's pretty new and done. So down this hallway right off the playroom, things we're hoping to change around here. This is the laundry room. This is the spare bedroom and this is just a utility closet. So we are planning to take this hallway for part of the laundry room and then there will be like a counter with the laundry machine right along here so the door to the laundry room will move here and then it will lose that storage closet but we've put one in over there when we closed off the utility room to my office and then the door to the bedroom will move to over here okay so this is our laundry room it's a pretty decent sized room but it is just filled with all the stuff so like I said, we finished off a utility room over in the other side of the basement and our plan is to move all this stuff over there. We just haven't taken the time to do that yet. And later this year, we would really love, this is the one project we want to take on inside the house this year, to finish this laundry room. Not only is it like totally unfinished and there's holes in the floor and the concrete and stuff like that, but the washer and dryer are like damaging our clothes, which I mean, we could just replace the washer and dryer, but you know that we like to do things start to finish all at one time so we're considering doing that and I would love to have a laundry sink for the first time ever I mean there's a lot of things that I would love to do in here I mean look at this it's just just great and I know what you're thinking but no we would not keep this faux rock texture Turn may look familiar this was our spare bedroom uh, so this room we're kind of clearing out this room has been used as a spare bedroom it has been used as my temporary office while we built the other office and now we want to use it as an exercise room so this is the other side of this spare bedroom down here you will see i didn't finish the trim and painting because there is so much patchwork that needs to be done we're using it for laundry drying because that other room is so crowded with paint stuff and it has this like weirdly deep closet that's not even useful so I don't know maybe we'll turn that into like a linen closet from that side I'm not sure but over here there is a spare bathroom that was never finished it looks like it was kind of started but we'd like to finish that one day okay last but not least I wanted to quickly show you the exterior it's Nancy. So last year we pulled off all of the siding and we had planned, you can see a big stack of siding in our driveway here. We had planned to finish that off in the summer, but then we found termites. So we spent a bunch of time getting that checked out and making sure everything was good and we just never got it done. So this spring we're working on the siding. We will no longer be the plywood house on the street. And I'm really excited to finish the exterior this year because we also had landscaping done last year. That is one of the only things that we hired out and it was so nice to just watch it happen before our eyes. <laughs> and then onto the backyard. Again, all the siding needs to be done, but also as I mentioned when we were upstairs, we need to build some stairs down from that lower deck and we need to finish off that concrete wall cover and then we would really love to build a playhouse up there. So we'll see what we can get done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you must sit on any more DIY or home decor videos. And if you would like to be notified about new videos, make sure to hit that bell as well. All right, we'll see you guys next time.